Hello, friends. Last week, we started our tour of the Bible with Adam and Eve. And today, we continue in Genesis 21, talking about Abraham and Isaac. Now, Abraham wanted to be a dad in a really big way. Didn't seem to be working out. But when he was 100 years old, I don't know if you know how old that is, but that's pretty old. When he was 100 years old, God granted him a son, Isaac. Everything's great, right? Abraham's loving being a dad. He's probably hanging out with his son. They're getting to know each other. And then God says, excuse me, Abraham, you know that son that I gave you? I want you to give him back. And so Abraham took his son Isaac on a, a trip up a mountain with the intention of ending, ending Isaac's life. And when everything was prepared, God said, stop. You have shown your faithfulness to me. There's a ram just over there caught in the bush. Go and use that as the sacrifice. Now let's press pause for a second. I totally get Abraham celebrating Isaac's birth, but can you imagine then being asked to give the son back? That has to be a dad's worst nightmare. And today we celebrate fathers. And sometimes, certainly not as drastic as God's request from, for Abraham, but sometimes our dads are asked to make really tough choices. And sometimes they have to consequence us for our behavior. And sometimes they have to say no to us because ultimately they know what's best. So Abraham had a really big test as a father. And he was able to show God how much he trusted him. And I'm sure that your fathers demonstrate that same loyalty to God as Abraham. I know my dad was a very... God-fearing and God-respecting man, and many, if not all, of the decisions that he made for his life and as my father were rooted in his faith choices. So if you haven't done so already, I want you to run and find your dad or your father figure. It might be a stepfather. It might be a grandfather. It might be a special uncle who's a role model for you. For you. Find that person. Give him a great big hug and say thank you. Thank you for loving me when it's easy, and thank you even more for loving me when it's hard. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us fathers and grandfathers and uncles and stepfathers, all of those men who have stepped alongside of us when it was easy, but even more importantly, when it was difficult. And we thank you, Heavenly Father, that you are the ultimate dad, guiding us, loving us, forgiving us, supporting us, and calling us your own. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a great week, friends.